Hello everyone, this is Movie Recap. Today we are going to introduce the second movie in the X-Men series. The storyline follows that of the first film. Magneto escaped from the plastic prison with only three iron balls. And formed an alliance with the X-Men what happened exactly? Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. In X-Men 1, the councilman advocated for the registration of mutants by name. Magneto planned an attack on the leaders of the nations. After he failed, he was imprisoned in a plastic prison. His henchman Mystique disguised as a counselor, working undercover in the government. Always looking for opportunities to free him. On the other hand, a staff member of the White House was introducing the place to everyone. Unexpectedly, there is a mutant lurking among the visitors. This guy has blue skin, and also has the superpower of teleportation. In the moment, he was about to assassinate the president. He was stopped by a fallen bodyguard. All that was left behind was a dagger with the words. Guarantee the freedom of mutants. The president called William Stryker and the congressman to discuss how to deal with the mutants. And gave Stryker full authority to handle. Stryker also hates mutants in particular. Because a long time ago, his son was also a mutant. But his wife died because of the child. He has been using his position to research mutants. Wolverine is also created by him. On the other hand, Jean's powers are gradually awakening. She has begun to hear the voices of all people uncontrollably. Cyclops tells Jean that when Jean has nightmares as usual, the whole house will tremble. Jean feel that something terrible is about to happen. Stryker arrives at the White House again. He is now in control of the government's mutant division. Stryker tells the president that there is a school for training mutants. And this school is the mutant school founded by Professor X. The president gave him the right to investigate the academy. As Stryker prepares to leave with his assistant Yuriko. Mystique, disguised as a councilman, hoping to meet Magneto through him. But Stryker is very wary and refuses Mystique's request. At this point, Magneto is living a life worse than death in prison. Without metal, he couldn't resist Stryker's abuse. Stryker gave Magneto drops of brain secretion that could control others. And learned from him that the brainwave search device used by Professor X. Professor X learns through the news that the president has been assassinated by mutants. He showed Wolverine all the mutants in the world through brainwave search. But Professor X cannot focus too much on them, or his own ability will kill them. At last he succeeded in finding the assassin's whereabouts. Then Jean and Storm immediately set out to track down the assassin. The invasion of the White House made Professor X think of Magneto in prison. So he took Cyclops to the prison. Unexpectedly, Stryker had already arranged an ambush here. Professor X and Cyclops were arrested. At the same time, the school was attacked. Special forces injected anesthetics into the sleeping children. As one child shouts, the rest of them wakes up. The kid has sonic powers, and Wolverine fights back. Just only need him alone to kill a group of people. He kills his way out, protecting the child. Colossus arrives at the sound of it. His body turns into steel and is very tough. The children are safely protected by him and enter the secret passage. Wolverine meets Stryker. Stryker told him that it was he who created Wolverine. Wolverine, who has been searching for his memories, is at a loss for words. At that moment, Iceman blocked the two, Wolverine then regained consciousness. The children in the school who hadn't had time to escape were all taken back. Professor X's brainwave device was also taken away by Stryker. Storm and Jean also found the mutant who attacked the president, named Nightcrawler. The wound on his neck is the same wound left by Stryker's drug. Nightcrawler said. His assassination was also carried out under the control of Stryker. On the other hand, Mystique quietly infiltrated Stryker's office and found out the location of Magneto's prison and the guards and also learned of Stryker's plan. It turns out that Stryker wants to use Professor X. He tried to kill all mutants through Professor X's ability and brainwave search device. So it seems that Professor X's superpowers are simply too scary. 
Subsequently, the security guard in charge of Magneto's prison was dazed by the disguised mystique and injected with a large amount of metallic liquid into his body. Magneto was able to manipulate the iron in his body and turn it into three iron balls and escaped from the plastic prison successfully. Stryker put a suppressor on Professor X. His son Jason has a similar superpower to Professor X. He can create fantasies and control other people's minds. By controlling Jason's brain secretions, Stryker transformed him. He wanted to use Jason to control Professor X. With the brainwave device he stole from the school, Stryker would be able to use Professor X and kill all the mutants. At this point Wolverine decided to take the kids and go to Boston to find Jean and Storm first. And Iceman's family is living in Boston. The parents who learned that their son was a mutant were unable to accept it for a while. Iceman's brother, jealous of his superpowers, called the police. Eventually the police arrive and one of them even shoots Wolverine in the head. Pyro was very angry, using his ability to control fire to beat the police, blew up all the police cars. Finally Storm's plane also arrived here. The wound on Wolverine's head has also recovered. Everyone got on the plane and prepared to return to school. Nightcrawler also met them for the first time on the plane. On the way home, they were chased by the military. Storm summoned the tornado and shook off the plane. But the two trailing missiles cannot be stopped. Jean's powers awaken again and destroys one of the missiles directly. But another missile hit them and the plane fell fast. Fortunately, Magneto came and saved them. They started a discussion. If Stryker had succeeded, the mutants all over the world are finished. They must rescue Professor X in time to stop Stryker's evil plan. The two groups, with the same goal in mind, come to an agreement. Gene tracks Nightcrawler's subconscious to his destination. They find the location of Professor X. It was Wolverine's transformed experimental base. Mystique changed into Wolverine, infiltrated and found the control room. She opened the gate of the sluice gate, and the others entered the base. Magneto looks for Professor X, but encounters Cyclops, who is already under control. Finally, Jean used her powerful ability to wake up Cyclops. But because the fight was too intense, the dam was destroyed. Storm and Nightcrawler also found the children and successfully rescued them. Wolverine relied on his senses and arrived at a laboratory. Seeing the traces left by the steel claws, as if he thought of something. At that moment, Stryker and his men Yuriko also arrived here. Surprisingly, Yuriko can also stretch out steel claws with each finger. It seems that her bones are also implanted with Aidman alloy. In the course of the fight, Wolverine discovered that. In addition, this woman also possesses a super self-healing ability. With their balanced strength, they can't decide the outcome. In the end, Wolverine injected Liquid Aidman into Yuriko's body. Yuriko ended her life in the most painful way. Professor X enters the brain under Jason's control and attempts to destroy the mutants. All mutants are in pain under the control of Professor X. Only Magneto's helmet kept him unaffected. Just when the mutants are in trouble, Magneto walks in and stops everything. Mystique takes the form of Stryker and gives the task of killing humans. It turns out that killing all humans is Magneto's real goal. Everyone rushes to the place, but the door is closed. Jean learned through her sensory abilities that it was Magneto did it. With the help of Nightcrawler, the two teleported to the interior. Then Storm summoned a blizzard in the house. Professor X was awakened from hypnosis by the bitter cold. All of them returned to the plane, but found that it would not start. The flood is about to hit. At the critical moment, Jean began to use her superpowers. She started the plane with one hand and resisted the flood with the other. Help everyone out of danger, but she was drowned in the flood. Finally, the X-Men found the president and said what Stryker did. If there is a war, then both humans and mutants will lose. Finally the president also announced a peace treaty. In X-Men 2, Wolverine finds his lost memories. Everything seems to be going back to normal. But a new conspiracy is also quietly being implemented. If you like my stories, please don't forget to subscribe.
See you next time.